All right. Um, now we're going to talk about how to get uh, your CNAME records changed so that you can have really nice, easy to remember addresses to each of the services that Google offers uh, at the apps domain. So I clicked on settings. Again, I'm in the control panel. And you can see calendar check, contacts, etc. These are all the different services at the domain. When you first set up the account, you may have to enable these um, services. And then by default, they're going to give you uh, access to the services at URLs that look something like this. And uh, I don't know about you, this is uh, hard for me to remember. Fortunately, Google lets you reroute those. And if you click Change URL, uh, what they recommend is a uh, prefix to your uh, domain. So this is like having a subdomain called calendar.upd.org. Users going to this uh, URL would just be directed straight to their calendars if they're logged in, which is uh, handy. However, in order to do this, you have to change something called a CNAME record. This works very much like uh, the MX records. If you uh, already succeeded in getting the MX records uh, set, you're going to go into your DNS settings, um, and you're going to create a CNAME record that has a value set to calendar and a uh, destination address set to ghs.google.com. Now, you're going to be setting uh, multiple CNAME records. For docs, uh, we typically set it to docs as the suffix, and so the CNAME record in this case is going to be pointing to uh, ghs.google.com. So if I go here, you'll see um, it's the same exact process for every single service. So again, uh, in GoDaddy, your DNS manager is down at the bottom here if you're clicking through the domain. Um, if I launch the DNS manager, you'll see uh, under CNAME records, uh, in this case I've already set the uh, records that I want. So under host, you can see I've set one called calendar, pointing to ghs.google.com, another called docs, another called mail, uh, another one called video, another one called sites. So those are the, the five core services. Uh, again, this makes it much easier for folks to get directly to the service they want using uh, your, your school's URL. So once you set those, again, click Save. It'll resave your DNS uh, file. So uh, we can go back. Uh, to this service, what's my DNS.net, uh, and actually see if our CNAME records have propagated through the internet. In other words, when page requests come from various parts of the world, uh, do other servers in the world know to route things properly to Google? So here I've done a test using the CNAME uh, selection, and I put docs.upd.org. This would be a test to see whether the docs CNAME record is, is working properly. And when I click search, you can see ghs.google.com comes up. It's fantastic. I can also run a search for calendar, see if that one works. And lo and behold, it does. Uh, check to see if the mail one works. Yay. And sites and video. Uh, looks like everything is great. So, so here's an example of a school that uh, has been set up with the CNAME records uh, pointing to Google. Uh, so here we can go to mail.hstat.org, and you'll see it goes directly to the Google sign-in. Do the same thing for calendar.hstat.org. And basically, uh, once the user logs in, they'll be taken directly to calendar or directly to mail or directly to docs, whatever they're using to log in. So handy stuff. Hope that's helpful. Good luck.